Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video and your uh, your daily update on Bitcoin. And it's going to be a bullish update. All right, yesterday we were obviously already a little bit bullish here. We, uh, we, we broke above 59,500 and we were trying to break above that 60,000 level. And what I said then yesterday is that, all right, well, you need to be ready for the next confirmation, all right? So what I said is that that would either be a breakout above 60,500, uh, uh, <clears throat> which was the breakout we got, um, or a breakdown below 59,500. But honestly, right now, um, you can say a lot about Bitcoin, but you you kind of have to be bullish on the short term um, because there there just isn't much bearish about this. We, we got the confirmation, as you can see, you, you can kind of drag this out like this and then it still fits and we broke above that. Uh, with the four hour time frame, we also bro broke above the 200 EMA, which is a very, very strong resistance level usually. So breaking above that also matters. Now, the main thing that is still true, and that's also what we talked about yesterday in the middle of the market update, is that Sunday and Mondays are usually a little bit uh, deceptive, all right? So for example, uh, if you look back at the end of June right here, when we also saw some bullish momentum, we were very bullish into Sunday, then got another pump on Monday, and then we reversed the entire rest of the week. So um, I am bullish right now, all right? I, I think we have to be. We got some very positive uh, fundamentals with the Germans running out of Bitcoin, uh, with the uh, with the momentum we got over the weekend, but also with the with, with the CPI, the the weaker dollar strength index, and at some point of time, I mean, look, at, at some point of time the price is going to reverse, all right. And uh, we've been bearish for a long time right now, um, and timing like that actually does matter as well. So I am bullish right now, but I'm also cautiously bullish. I uh, I did open some longs earlier earlier this morning and uh, and before. But I still do think you need to be cautious. I mean, right now, if you if you look at something like the 12 hour time frame, this level we're at right now between 62,500 and I would say uh, 63,500. Like if we're able to break above that, um, then we are just very bullish. All right. If, if we're able to break above that on a Monday, so in the middle of the week, while the volume is also relatively high because the volume right now is, is decent, I would say, at uh, $25.5 billion dollars then we're super bullish. And on the short term, I already do think we're bullish, um, but some sort of a, a bigger pullback or something does seem most likely, all right? If you look at Bitcoin right here, uh, what you'll see is that we have a lot of momentum. We got some bullish breakouts, so that's also why I'm telling you. Um, I do think, we, I, I, I do think we're, we're bullish right here, but we're waiting for two things, right? And first of all, like I said, even though I do think we're bullish, like we're gaining nice momentum right here, don't forget that. Um, and, uh, and and we saw major short positions being closed yesterday evening. So that's all great. Still, I do think you need to be careful for the, the US session today. All right, because some sort of a turnaround is possible. And then right now, when we're talking about the bullish scenarios, there's basically two things that can happen. And that's either that we just continue parabolically so that we break above 63,000 on the four hour time frame here and that we instantly get up to 60. Ah, it's actually, well, when you look at, look at the level, it's actually more like this, right? It's, uh, it's, it's somewhat, of a, somewhat of a bigger level, I would say, historically. Um, but there's also like, there's so many different key levels here in a, in a very short, in a very small area. That I would say, like, like it's either we break break above sixty three thousand five hundred here, and we and we rally up exponentially up to sixty five and sixty six thousand, which would be amazing. Um, but I think it's a little bit more likely that we do get a pullback from here. All right. So so then, and I, I think that pullback will still be bullish. All right. We'll we'll just pull back into sixty one thousand seven hundred and 60,800. And then if we get a positive reaction from that, which does seem to me to be the most likely scenario, then from there, we can start to rally up to those uh, before mentioned levels. Um, so yes, I do think we'll stay bullish. There is a small chance, of course, but uh, that, that will turn bearish. But I will uh, try to keep you updated on that in my middle of the day market update as well. So keep your eyes out on that. Um, but for now, those are my thoughts. Expect the pullback, but also do expect the, the strong support levels we have right now to hold is my summary. So those are my thoughts. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.